Well, Nicholas, while some people say it's not that bad and they're getting used to this weather, others have been forced to make a trip to Parkview Rendelia emergency room behind me here. Now, Parkview has seen more than a dozen heat-related illnesses this month. That means heat stroke, cramps, rash, and fainting. It's been busier than usual all month, too. Just yesterday, a man was rushed to Parkview Randalia when he fainted in a local factory. But it's not just heat-related illnesses giving folks a trip to the ER. Respiratory conditions like asthma are much worse during this weather. Doctors say if you don't have to go outside, don't do it. If you do, like we've been telling you this all week, make sure you stay hydrated and take frequent breaks. If you get to the point where you're feeling dizzy, woozy, you go kind of get in the shade and you're drink some water and you're just not feeling any better, kind of that would be another point to, to get probably to the hospital. If you're not recovering in, you know, 20, 30 minutes, get, get to the hospital because you probably need some IV fluids at that point. Now, Lutheran's emergency department hasn't had a spike in heat-related illnesses this month compared to previous years. Now, the biggest concern if you are outside in the heat is if you stop sweating. Doctors say if this happens, make sure you call 911 because your temperature would just start going up when you do start stop sweating. We're live at Parkview Rendelia. Adam Widener, News Channel 15.